So like many photographers, I've been contemplating making a photo book for many years now, and I haven't gotten around to it until now. I was constantly fighting myself, wondering who would buy this, why should I make this, and to answer that question, I was simply like, I'm just going to make a photo book because I want to. I forgot why I started photography in the first place. The real reason I started photography, and I think a lot of people do, is to just discover the world and capture that. Along the way, hopefully there's some good images. So I finally did it. I made my photo book, I made my zine, and what I want to share with you in this video is not about my photo book, but about how you can make your own photo book and why you should. I was able to go from nothing to having a fully printed 20 copy photo book in only one week. The first step of making your zine is to design. Now, I used Photoshop and I'm including a link to the template that I used that I created. So you can grab that in the description right now. Since the zine we'll be making is going to be flipping an A4 document into halves, we're going to be using guides so that we place our images in the right way. You can see here that the guides allow you to place your images so that they don't bleed into each other. This is going to be useful when we go to the printer and we tell them what we want. Now you can simply get started by just placing your images on the canvas. I also switched my color space from RGB to CMYK. That way the colors I see on my screen are what I'm going to get when I go to the print lab. Now for my zine, I showed one topic and that topic was changing culture. I wanted to show how culture changes and how, especially in South Korea where I am, the culture used to be pretty old and now it's changed to um, be a little bit more modern. So I decided to show that aspect. You might want to choose, you know, a theme that you're used to. So what I suggest is you go through your library and see what kind of images you tend to take. I didn't actually set out to make this theme, but that's normally what I focus on, so that's what I did. Now, you'll probably be able to find a common theme for your images as well. And so here's a quick side note for you as well. Perfectionism is sort of a crutch for photographers and for artists. We use perfectionism as a way to keep ourselves from publishing our work, and it's sort of a form of procrastination. But we live in a fast-paced world, and the risk of not getting your work published is greater than publishing the wrong work. People are going to forgive you if you post something that's not so good. So don't worry about not posting your best work. Oftentimes the hardest part of this is getting started. Now let's move on to the actual making of the file. So once you have all your files created, you got your pages set up, then what you're wanna gonna do is create a PDF and we're gonna use Photoshop for this. So you can go into Photoshop and click automate and then you'll go to create PDF. Now once you have a PDF set up, you'll have all the parts that you need for your photo book. I had a front cover, a back cover, inside pages, and then the main images of the photo book. Once you have your file ready, you'll hit the print shop and they'll get it done for you. I was able to find a local one that was able to do it for pretty cheap and you might be able to find a print shop in your area. If not though, there's always print shops online. They were able to print me a sample book for no money asked at all, which was awesome. I was able to see my work printed out and I gotta say that seeing your work printed out is a game changer. You can really tell what it looks like. You know, images that look really good online may not look as good printed out and vice versa. You know, that totally opened up the world of photography for me and changed um, my perception. And so if you haven't printed your work, I definitely recommend that you do. And even if you don't, you know, end up on making a book, you can definitely just print it at home and see what it looks like. So there's a lot of benefits to printing out your work. Now, when deciding, you know, how many to make and what kind of requirements you want, there's lots of different paper options, lots of different requirements. So, you know, talk to the print shop and they'll tell you what people normally do and how you can get it done for cheap. Um, and sort of explain it way better than I can. After you do that, you're gonna want to choose, you know, a theme for your book, and you might wanna write some introductions for yourself and what the book is about. You know, you're sort of telling a story. So I chose to tell my story of coming to Korea and documenting that. 
you're free to you know do whatever you want you can write your photo book about cats and i'm sure there's someone out there who might appreciate that so you know i think overall i'm definitely encouraging you to go out and print your work you know i, I want to see other people's photo books i want to see uh, what other people can create and i'm constantly trying to get my friends to print their work as well but yeah here's basically the what the samples look like and there's a lot of different um, iterations that we went through before I got the final product, but it was nice to see the process of how they created the photo book and uh, printed it out. It was even bound for me, which was super cool to see. And now, you know, I'm really happy with the result. I've got my photo book. I've got my photo book. And, you know, even if it's just for me, um, you know, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. But if you guys do want to get a copy and support the channel, I've got a link in the description and go check it out. It's my first photo book and I hope it does well. So, you know, if you'd like to show the support, then the link is in the description. And, um, you know, I hope to see your photo books as well, because this was really a cool process for me, uh, creating this photo book. It opened up, you know, different worlds for me in photography. And I hope it does for you too, because, you know, a lot of work out there just isn't seen. If there's anything I've learned from visiting photo exhibitions and vis visiting galleries is a lot of art is non-discovered and not discovered until the artist is dead, which is a little bit unfortunate that someone has to die for art to be cared about. And so, so go, so go put your work out there. You know, someone deserves to see it. People deserve to see it. They want to see your pictures. They want to see you succeeding. Um, so that's my message for you today. Um, it's a little bit of a short video, I know, and I'm not going in super deep in how to make a photo zine, but hopefully this inspires you to create your own and, um, you know, gets your blood flowing because I certainly needed a kick uh, to get my zine going. So don't wait years like I did. Definitely jump on it and hopefully I'll see your zine someday. Thanks so much.